Hi, I'm Annika Lidne and this is the Swedish startup special Leveb special concluding remarks. Stay tuned. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas to wait hard. You ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas. Clear use of G. Please believe. This ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bitch, you be thanking God. This is Sweden. Stop lying to all. You ain't struggling at all. This is Sweden. You ain't packing gas. You ain't hard. You ain't living in the garage. This is Sweden. Fly overseas. Clear use of G. Please believe. This ain't Sweden. Witness a massacre in Middle East to Africa. Bitch, you be thanking God. This is Sweden. This is the Swedish Startup Sessions. Welcome back. I'm here with co-host Henriette Weber as usual for this week. And uh, we thought we conclude the Leveb uh, three days of conference. It's one day more than it had been uh, previous years. And we're actually standing at the uh, Charles de Gaulle airport uh, doing this final remarks. Uh, so what, what's your view of the conference in general? I think there were a lot of really, really interesting tendencies, um, both from, both, both, both you would say social, but I think that the overall thing that I would take away from it is that we shouldn't be focusing that much anymore on the web. It's more about the connectedness of the different apps and the different devices. And the internet as Indeed. an enabler. Yeah, and that's it yeah. yeah, for sure. So, uh, the web is dead, more or less. Yeah, I would say it uh, is probably coming uh, soon. Yeah. Uh, another thing I would take away is all the launches. There yeah. were almost not one person who went on stage and who launched. didn't who didn't launch mm. anything or had any new thing. But there wasn't any major things. No, I think that we we come from a world where. Or an in as an industry that big launches is a part of the overall ecosystem yeah. and now it just seems like even though that you have a tiny thing that you're actually adding to the product or something you make kind of like what would you say a launch press release out yeah. of it or, or something like that and actually add, add to your brand in that way instead of just doing these major things that we're actually used to in this industry. Yeah. yeah. And uh, did you see anything, any launch that you specifically liked? Oh, we already talked to Phil about uh, the Evernote Hello. I really yeah, like that's that. brilliant. And I also really like uh, Evernote Hello. <laughs> Evernote Hello. I also really like the Babelverse. Babelverse. Ba no, Babelverse. Babelverse. Yeah, Babelverse. True. Which was uh, one of the startups in the finalist yeah. finalist startups. Didn't win. Everybody thought everybody thought they would. Everybody win. was clapping when they yeah. were on the stage and stuff like that. I don't know why they didn't win, but I really like them and. Yeah. Um, I think that overall the, the, the startups there were actually doing really well and they had prepared their pitches extremely well compared yeah. to the other years. Yeah. So it was interesting, I mean, I was amused. Yeah, the level, level was very high mm -hmm, this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, also as a Swede, uh, very happy to see this last day with first a brilliant session with uh, Daniel Eck from Spotify, who was a really, really good interview and he fell felt like he was very comfortable on stage and mm. gave a very very good impression mm. and then we ended more or less the whole conference with Alexander Jung from SoundCloud in Berlin mm. uh, and I actually got a tweet isn't that a German startup but the founder is, is Swedish, Swedish yeah. and I think they have a team with about 16 different nationalities so we count them as Scandinavian mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right yeah we do yeah but no, so, uh, uh, anything yeah. more? No, I was. There was such an amazing network. Down there. Yeah, that, that's what I want to end with. Just like, go there for the network, as you will see in one of our other interviews where we talked to the Belgian web community. I think they they called their yeah. stand. It was just so important for them to show up at these things and build on their trust levels with yeah. people that are really important to the web industry in Belgium. Um, and you should definitely watch that interview. Yeah, and, I, and I think also not to come to Le Web without mm. a clear agenda. We met some people who were there more uh, as agencies or big corporations uh, and they felt a bit lost, mm. like they didn't really uh, know what to, to, 
what to expect and what to do there. Mm. And I think there's so much material on the web mm. that you can really see uh, what the what Le web is all about and also how to prepare. And I think mm. you really know, need to have an agenda and pre preferably also set mm. meetings and so on beforehand. Yeah, I think so, I think so. And the web has a good system for that. Yes, Fresno definitely, system. definitely. I mean, uh, so that's it, I guess. No, I would say what we didn't <laughs> talk about. <laughs> What we didn't talk about, nobody talked about it uh, apart from Ben Paw, former editor of Mashable, oh, yeah, right. who um, uh, had a very, very good session, so, so check that out. But he was actually the only one who took the, the current uh, Euro crisis and, and general sort of feeling of uh, mm. uh, upcoming recession into to, uh, consideration. Mm. Uh, I think the, the spirit is very high in the online industry, and it should be because I don't think we would be that affected. No. Because the whole whole world is going to di digital. But what can dry up is naturally funding. Mm. When when the money people get scared, they cut down on on risk and they cut down on mm. funding. Yeah, they do. But as you said on the train, when we were heading here. Good ideas are still going to be promoted, and good ideas are still going to be supported by yeah. the by the web community or the internet community, because the web is probably something dead. dead in, in <laughs> yeah, it's not your first priority anymore. No. I think that's very important to know. So, like so maybe we should conclude it with the le web is uh, alive and kicking, but the web is dead. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. So. Over and out Thank from uh, Henriette Weber and Annika Lide in Paris for Swedish startup sessions. Yeah. Bye. Bye.